dick. Cool, 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 cool. All right, let's put on the birthday guy. Yeah. Uh, no, no, I, Great practice. Dick. 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 Um, dick was the worst. Um, and I was raised in a house where we didn't talk about sex. Um, it's true. Uh, my family, my dad's side, uh, my parents both came from very conservative families. My mom's side, Catholic. My dad's side, Jewish. And uh, basically, um, the name of the game when it came to sexual health in my family was take sex ed at school because we're not going to deal with it at home. Uh, like the most conversation I ever had with my mom about it was like, uh, you'll get a period or a baby. <laughs> and we prefer that you got a period. Um, which is good because I was in fifth grade and we had that conversation. <laughs> but no, um, it's, it's weird because like my dad like couldn't even handle like like any sort of like like sex talk. Like like uh, there's a Red Hot Chili Peppers song that came on once uh, during a blackout. We listened to the radio and uh, it was that song was like uh, my my mouth was made to suck this kiss. It was the lyric and my dad we literally we were playing poker and my family played poker when there were blackouts. Um, and uh, he literally dropped his cards out of his hand and he's like, that's we need to change the radio. Oh, what are they listening to? And uh, my sister then stole his like matchsticks that we were playing for. <laughs> so I mean, I guess she took it as a good opportunity. Um, but like to this day, like even like as like an adult woman who's divorced, like I can't talk about dating with my parents because they're like. Uh, we don't want to know that you're potentially sexually active. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> all right, family, get in, get in. We're playing poker for candles tonight, all right? Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Winner gets all the Yankee candles you can smell. Whoa. 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 Okay. Uh, you got Forrest Mist out there, Dad. That's sorry. You Forrest Mist. Forrest Mist. I know what that does to hey, you, boy. <laughs> Angel's wings? Ooh. I don't know how they know what angel's wings smell like. Winner gets to find out. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, well I'm gonna go ahead and bring my better than sex candle. <laughs> Wait, Ooh. Whoa, 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 we don't talk. That is graphic. Whoa. <laughs> it's close. <laughs> Wait. You guys. I don't... Mom, what's wrong? <laughs> What's Speak wrong, Mom? Speak your truth, babe. <laughs> I just feel like, I feel like, I, I feel like since Yankee Candle discontinued all of their pumpkin spice line in 2017, <laughs> like, I can't, I can't throw myself into this anymore. Mom, I, it's, Mom, it's a I can't, tradition. I can't throw myself into this. I'm sorry. Like, I, I, I love the pine scents and, and the, the clean linen, but it, I, they betrayed me too many times. <laughs> Is this how you say you want a divorce? <laughs> you know I'm not good at honest and open communication. <laughs> Did she answer my question? <laughs> I'm just gonna go upstairs. Put that better than sex back on the table, young lady. <laughs> all right, back up the bulldozer. We need to get rid of all of these pumpkin spice candles. Every single one of them. Sorry, they're discontinued. We're getting rid of all of them. Good. 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 So, Economy you know. is too pumpkin spice split based for me. I feel like we can get into other flavors. Like, whatever happened to cinnamon? I'm behind you 100%, Evelyn. This is why I'm the assistant vice manager. You are. <laughs> of the entire Yankee Candle Corporation. I know. It's a big time. They didn't even give me a division that was assistant vice manager of, they just said. Mm -hmm. But you know what I think's coming in? What's that? Clove. Clove? <laughs> That's crazy, Evelyn. Nobody will go for it. <laughs> Don't tell me I'm crazy. Hey guys, um, wow, really happy to be here today. Um, what we're doing is we're going to be unboxing, yes, yet another candle. <laughs> this is a little controversial, so like, even if you don't like the candle, please subscribe, like and subscribe, tell your friends. Um, it's clove. It's clove by Yankee Candle, you guys. <laughs> See it. 
That is crazy. I know. You just send it. Just send it to her, and she opens it on the television, and I'll tell you what's next. Time. Time. With, a, with like, an H. <laughs> <laughs> the space. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be rubbing this time together. <laughs> this is ASMR. It's going to stick with you. Thomas, are you rubbing candles on your face again? No, Mom. <laughs> Thomas, are you showing the world how much you love a candle on your face? No, <laughs> Mom. This is a real job. Thomas. <laughs> Yeah. 
I was 14 when I went in there, but I'm 17 now. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a time machine in there? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, we get, do we, we get to spin the bottle again before we Yeah, who's next? Oh, oh, no, okay, 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 okay. Oh, no, it's on you now. Hi! Damn. You know the rules, seven minutes, closet heaven. Mm, okay, okay. You're a champ, you're a champ. We are the champions. <laughs> Oxytocin, which is the feel good <laughs> chemical. My mom said that sex is for sinners. <laughs> Maybe we should talk quieter. <laughs> have me raised to go to, and I think now is the time to tell me what religion you decided on so I can know where Mr. Whiskers is going, and then therefore that I will be good for the rest of my life to go there as well. So, Mr. Whiskers, this is called limbo. Because your owners don't have a good religion, we don't have anywhere to send you. But yeah. So we got this one weird guy who's just going to limbo all around. Keep. I thought we were in... I'm sorry. I'm in the wrong Limbo cramp. Just keep... I'm in the wrong I gotta get down here real quick. So. Keep doing it, because you're going to be here for a while until they figure this out. I hate to confuse things for you, but we're behind. <laughs> oh, mix of everything. Where do I end up if I'm behind? Everywhere. <laughs> okay, Mr. Whiskers, we're just going to take little bits of you and just sprinkle them all over. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. Wait, you're a girl, Mr. Whiskers? That's fun. I don't have to do it either way. Oh, right. You still have to scatter your essence all over. You know how hard it is to be a cat that doesn't identify as a gender and be called Mr. Whiskers? <laughs> that sounds rough, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cute, though. Mm -hmm. Listen, I've come far and wide to a lot of different spiritual oasises trying to figure out the path. To get to Baha'i heaven. <laughs> well. I need to know the answer, not just to hear the word well. <laughs> I'm so glad, I'm so glad that you're asking me, right, as I'm about to teach this class on how to get to Baha'i heaven. <laughs> <laughs> questions, questions. I just need yes, you. Hey, um, what are the menstrual cramps? <laughs> well, wow, they're really intense and it makes it harder for me to play soccer. Also, I think they're my fallopian too. <laughs> Is it way up in there? <laughs> can we can we just get to Baha'i? I need to find my cat, Mr. Whiskers. Yes, yes, you. Is will hand stuff get you to hell? Like hand stuff only. <laughs> Not if you wash your hands. <laughs> Is yes. smelling the better than sex candle at Yankee Candle enough to get you into heaven? No, absolutely not. What do angels wings smell like? <gasps> Is it better than sex? I have a cat! 